Hello and welcome to the first video in a series of videos on laws of indices. So just a reminder that when we have something like this, two to the power three, that does not mean two times three, that means two times two times two. We're multiplying two by itself three times. Now let's look at this. We've got two to the power three multiplied by two to the power three. Now instead of writing all of this down, we can simplify this so we can express it as just one power of two. And I'll show you how we do this. If we think about this first part here, two to the power of three, well, we know that that means two times two times two. And we're gonna multiply that by another two to the power of three. So we're gonna multiply that by another two times two times two. Now, instead of writing out two times two six times, well, we can just write down two to the power six. We're multiplying two by itself six times. Let's do another one. Let's say we've got three to the power four multiplied by three to the power five. How can we simplify this? Well, if we first focus on three to the power four, what does that mean? Well, that means three times three, four times. So that means three times three times three times three. And we're gonna multiply that by three to the power five, which is three times three, five times. So if I do this in blue, we're gonna multiply that by three times three times three times three times three. And we can clean this up. We don't need to write three times three out this many times. How many times are we multiplying three by itself? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can rewrite this as three to the power nine. Let's do one more. Let's say we've got eight to the power three multiplied by eight to the power 20. How could we simplify this? Well, again, eight to the power three, we can write that as eight times eight times eight. And we're gonna multiply that by eight to the power 20. Now I'm not gonna write down eight times eight 20 times, cause that would be a bit redundant. So I'm just gonna write down eight times eight times eight. And then I'm just gonna put some dots and then multiply by eight. So we're gonna multiply by eight 20 times. So in total, how many times are we multiplying by eight? Well, we've got three here, and then we've got 20 here. So we're actually multiplying by eight by itself 23 times, because we've got three here, plus another 20, that gives us 23. So it's gonna be eight to the power 23. Now what I'd like you to think about is can you spot a quick way of simplifying your expression without writing the numbers out in full. And hopefully what you spotted is that these numbers here are indices. If we add them together, it gives us the index of our answer. So three plus three is six. Four plus five gives us nine. And finally, three plus 20 gives us 23. So instead of having to write down the multiplication in full, all we can do is add our indices together and that will give us our index for our answer. And notice how it works with any numbers and it also works with variables. So let's say for example, we've got a to the power four and we're gonna multiply that by a squared. Now I'm just gonna show you in full what this looks like. So for example, this first part, a to the power four, that's a times a times a times a. And then we're gonna multiply that by a squared, which is a times a. And what do we get? Well, we're multiplying a by itself six times. So it's a to the power six. And that rule of adding the indices also works. So four plus two does indeed give us six. Now in maths, we always like to come up with rules for things that we discover. And this is a general rule for what we've just discovered. Now I don't like to memorize things like this. I like to understand how it, how it comes about. So all this is saying is that if we multiply things with the same base, all we do is we add our indices together. Okay, so it's over to you now. What I'd like you to do is pause the video and see if you can simplify these eight expressions. So don't try and work out what the actual values are, just simplify them using your laws of indices. Okay, so the first one, three to the power two times three to the power five. Remember, when we multiply things with the same base, we simply add our indices together. So this is gonna be three to the power two plus five, which is seven. So it's three to the power seven. 
Okay, the next one, 3 times 3 to the power 8, where we add our indices. Now, we don't have anything above this 3, but we this is just a 3. It's just 1, 3. So this is actually just a 1. So 1 plus 8 is 9. So it's 3 to the power 9. This next one, again, we're going to just add our indices together. So 4 plus 2 plus 5. Well, 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 5 is 11. So it's 3 to the power 11. And just think about that, why that makes sense. We've got 3 times 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 3. And that was 11 threes that I said, if you were counting. But we just add the indices together. Okay, this next one looks a bit more confusing, but the rule is exactly the same. We add our indices together. So 8 plus negative 2. Well, that's the same as 8 minus 2, which is 6. So it's 3 to the power 6. Okay, the next one. We've got the same base, so we add our indices together. 13 plus 0, well, that's still 13, so our answer is 3 to the power 13. The next one, well, 7.49 to the power 11 times 7.49 to the power 11. We've got the same base, so we add our indices together again. So it's going to be 7.49 to the power of 22. Okay, and the next one, again, we've got the same base, so we're going to add our indices together. 1 fifth plus 3, three fifths is 4 fifths. So it's 4 to the power 4 fifths. And finally, the last one. Notice, these bases are not the same. Our addition index law only works if the bases are the same. These bases are not the same, so this does not simplify. So just to recap, what we've discovered in this video is that whenever we multiply things with the same base, and I put things because we could multiply numbers or variables, so it doesn't matter what we multiply, as long as they have the same base, we always add the indices. In the next video, we're going to look at dividing things with the same base. So brace yourself for some more fun there. See you soon.